Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Okay, so in my previous videos, we spoke about uh, another Cabriolet that we're busy painting, right? So this here is the vehicle that we're busy with now. What I'm going to do is, okay, this car basically came in. It's, it's actually a very nice car. It's a very, it was an original car, right? So the original color of the car was white. Uh, but I won't say neglected, but an original car, complete car, driving car, I drove in here. Uh, yes, we've got some work to do mechanically, but nothing, <coughs> sorry, nothing major. Uh, but this is now the customer that came in here, right? And it's the customer and his wife. And firstly, what a cute couple. And I love them to butts because of this, yeah. So <laughs> there was an argument of the color that we're going to go on with this vehicle. So this argument went on for like for the past, for the last, oh, not for the last, it went on for about three months. Where... We knew we were going red, but which one of the reds we didn't know. So, again, it's an OEM vehicle, it's an original vehicle, but we are doing a color change to it. So, the options were obviously Henna Red, Brilliant Red, uh, Calypso, and then we thought about the Zenoba, but ugh, none of us really feel the Zenoba, right? So, Henna Red, the wife said, it's too orangey. She, we showed her samples, we showed her different Henna Red cars that came in here, and it was a fight. So... Then she, but she was leaning more on to Brilliant Red. But my fight with Brilliant Red is that there's too many cabriolets out there be in Brilliant Red, right? So we, even though they came out in uh, Calypso, but there isn't a lot of them out. So you don't really see a Calypso cabrio. That's number one. Number two, what we had to play around with also is we're doing a full interior change of it. Uh, interior change meaning we're still going to keep it OEM, right? So this car never came with sports seats in it. We've got a set of sports seats for the car. But the color that we're going to go with is the cream. So the cream is the same as what we've done in the Aero Silver Triple Three. So the color was black and I think it had gray carpet in here. We are now moving over to the cream carpet and cream seats, redying the door cards. Cream, they were still fresh, they were still clean. But it's basically getting all of that done. Sorry, the guys are waiting to come into the booth and I'm holding them up. Alright, you can get on. So, having said that, now we had to choose a color. You can get on. Okay. So, having said that, we had to choose a color that was, that's going to complement the interior as well. So, I've spoken to, I even had a chat with uh, Sumashan. That he's got the red four door, uh, commonly known as stolen Eastern Cape, stolen EC, the number plate. And I've spoken to him and we played around with colors. And then we were leaning on, okay, fine, if we're going to go with the Calypso, let's go with a more tannish, tannish, orangish interior. But uh, my client doesn't, George doesn't want to hear about that. So I, I, I'm not leaning to that as well. I think it, it just looks it looks artificial. So for a custom car, it looks good. But for what we want to go for, I think it's going to look artificial, if I can call it that. So we're going to take the risk. And we're going to go through with a cream interior on a Calypso vehicle. What I got envisioned, I think it's going to look... I think it's really going to look good. But we are going to go with it. Anyway, let's just go through the car quickly, right? And you guys see what we're busy with now. And we're basically prepping the vehicle up now for paint. Okay, so when the vehicle came to us, uh, Ryan, which side was the problem side? Was it the right hand side, no? It was the right hand side, yeah. The right hand side. The back fender. And the, the back fender, the door, and the front fender. Yeah, it's all the right side. So there's a whole lot of filler, if I'm not mistaken, no? There was. Right, okay, so the, it looks like this car was in a slight fender bender before, right? So the door had a dent on it. Uh, the fenders front and back had a lot of body party on it. So remember, this is not a restoration vehicle. This is just a uh, spray out vehicle. So you can see it's still got the original seam sealers in place. There were a couple of dents and nicks in the trunk area. We've had that seen too. We've stripped the roof out completely. So our boys at Autozone Casino, uh, Abdul. I'm actually going to do a shout to him soon. Uh, I'll get him on the line as well. And then we can, he'll also, he, look, he does the roof for us, right? He does it very well. Uh, so 
I will uh, do a phone call to him. I'll get him online so you guys can meet him as well. And I'll put his details up. Uh, sorry, I'll put his details up as well of where you can get all of him. He'll be able to sort out roofs. He's got different colors in place and so on like that. So, Ryan. Ryan is our painter. Ryan, you can say I was it. I think the guys never... <laughs> okay, so, Ryan and Domingo are basically... Domingo? <laughs> the guys are basically prepping up now for paint, right? So, on white, what we first done was, you guys are probably wondering why the hell is the car red? car was white. We went through a primer phase and we went down on a flat down on that, right? And you'll actually see the old primer up here. Then we've went, we've put a red color on it as a check out, basically. So it's a checking phase. The checking phase is basically for us to see the lines, to see if there's any imperfections before your final color goes on, right? And it also helps with the blending in as well. So the only thing that we are still going to take out is all these clips here. We don't want to get overspray on them. So Domingo, please remove these clips here for me nicely. Like all these bolts here, all the clips in it. Let's get them out. Uh, we chose not to take the motor out on this vehicle, right? We chose not to take the motor out on this vehicle. Ryan, I think get out and just to pull this aircon radiator out for us. You can spray in here nicely and we can get the bracket area nicely to the oil cooler. You can drop the oil cooler as well and so we can get to the front, right? So we chose not to take the motor out because this car is original, right? And it's actually a very nice car. Uh, we chose to leave everything in place, but we are going to do a color change. So we're not trying to... Um, it's not a bulb. We're not, there's nothing to be covered up basically on this vehicle. It's just that the client wants to do a preference change on it. So anyway, if you can see... I don't know, I'm going to try and get it on video. So remember, we've got different shades of colors at this point on the car, right? But this is basically to make sure that our line is straight. And we've changed over now with doing alignments and that. We're actually using a laser light and we found, we found like a balance with a laser light. So no waves. And this is before paint. This is prepped up. So... The only thing that I'm going to try and do differently on this vehicle is I'm going to try and lift the vehicle up in the boot. And we might just put on trestles. We might put on trestles in the boot just to give Ryan some height. Because it, I've noticed a consistency difference on the lower parts of the vehicle. Let's see this side here. So, this line is very deceiving, right? Because your contours, even on the laser, will vary. So, if there's a reflection of it, there will also be an issue later on. This fender was actually warped completely. And we've had extensive work done on the fender. Because we're battling to find fenders. And if we find pirate fenders, um, you've still got to do a lot of work on them to get them as clean as possible. So, we've cho chosen to take the stickers off. Because obviously... We are going to uh, put the new stickers on with the Calypso colors. And yeah. Okay, so what I'm going to do is with this here, like I explained to you guys in the previous video, is that we are going to do the videos a little bit different. Instead of me doing a stage before, prime, uh, before paint and then a stage after paint and then uh, assembly stage and so on like that, I'm gonna, we're going to compile this whole video into one and basically... I was supposed to have shown you guys the before photos, but like it wasn't a bad car to start with. So there wasn't anything much to show besides for the strap down of it. Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to try and incorporate the assembly line of it as well into this video as far as possible. And then obviously show you the end product of it. So let's get prepping and let's get painting. Right, let's give them a couple of hours by late in the day. We will see how the car looks. Okay, guys, so we're done with the car. Sorry. We're done with the car. And I know that I was, I know that I said I'm gonna compile the whole video and show you guys the end product, but you know, we actually couldn't wait uh, to do it. And I know that uh, George, my customer, he's actually excited to see his car. 
So this year we're gonna call this a first phase and then after this year it'll be assembling interior, uh, getting the car running, getting the wheel changed on the vehicle and so on like that. So this is now uh, three coats of paint, three, four coats of clear. So we've done base coat, clear coat on this guy here. This is Calypso. Look, the color does sometimes change over on camera and so on like that. And with different lighting. But the color looks right, it looks correct. Uh, it's still very fresh. It's just finished baked now. But we're going to leave it overnight. And it's about nine o'clock at night now. Uh, okay, let's go through it quickly. There is a couple of imperfections. Uh, but we've allowed for enough clear coat over so that we can cut and polish deep into it, right? Let's just go through it quickly. Okay, so this is basically it now. So you can see there is a couple of imperfections, especially on the front fender here. Right, but that's how we'll be able to, we're gonna have to touch up and clear coat and so on like that. So we've got into the engine very nicely. Right, it's a lot of masking that we had to do, but we tried to get in as much as possible because we said that we're not going to take engine out on the sky. So, like here, there's an issue here. We've got to see to that, even though the windscreen rubber is going to be over there, and then we've got some dust spots on the top that will be able to be cut and polished. But overall, she came out good. We've got them to the interior as well. So remember, this car was white before, right? So we had this is going over we'll to a full color change on it. Okay, so like I said, we're still gonna put the car together, and yeah. You guys know what to do like subscribe share uh let me know what you guys think about the color the wheel on the vehicle i think we're gonna go with an alpina wheel uh black roof tan interior i think it's gonna look sick tell me what you guys think about that and let's wait for the outcome cheers guys